The Magical Gifts Once upon a time, there lived a poor peasant called Ron in a tiny hamlet with his mother. Money ran low, and so he decided to go to a bigger neighboring village to look for work. His mother gave him three pieces of bread for lunch. Take this, and please do be careful and look after yourself. Don't worry, mother. I shall soon find work, and then our problems will be over. Ron walked for hours in the forest. It was twilight, and he was now tired and hungry. So, he decided to rest in the forest. He found a huge oak and settled on its branch to keep safe from animals. But suddenly, before him, three swans appeared from the lake beyond. As they came to the land, they turned to angels. Ron watched, mesmerized. One of the angels saw him and pointed to him. Look, a human! A human is not supposed to see us. But he must be a really good man, for only good men can bear our light. What are you doing in this forest at this time of night, human? I left home to look for work in a neighboring village or town. If you had to leave home to look for work, you must be in great need. Here, take this. Wherever you place this branch, a house will emerge. This house will have everything a man can need. Beds to sleep on, clothes in the cupboard, food on the table, money in the purse, anything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now you must leave this spot for we angels are not allowed to speak to humans for long. Surely, with your gift, I can make myself comfortable anywhere. Thank you. So, Ron left the spot and walked in the forest. Suddenly, as night befell, there was great thunder and lightning, and it began to rain. Ron was about to place the branch on the ground, when suddenly he heard a sound. Someone shivering. Ron went in its direction and saw a family shivering in the rain. What happened? Why are all of you out in the rain like this? Our home was destroyed by lightning last night, and now we have nowhere to live. We are poor and have no money to build a new home. My children will go hungry. Hmm. They need it more than I do. Here, take this. This will solve all your problems. Well, thank you. How can we ever repay your kindness? Just let me spend the night here. In the morning, I shall be on my way. You can stay here for as long as you want. Ron left the home in the morning and went on his way again to look for work. He walked all day in the forest, and at night, he decided to rest. This time, he found a little cave in the hillside and decided to spend the night there. Just as he was about to sleep, he saw the same strange light in the sky. The swans swooped down and changed into angels again. One of the angels saw him. The same human again. Are you following us? And what are you doing here anyway? Didn't we give you a home last night? Then why are you in this forest? Oh, I could not keep the magical home with me. And Ron told the angels everything that had transpired the previous night. So, you see, here I am, still going to another village to look for work. Well, what you did last night was kind and even foolish. 
We cannot give you something as magnificent as the magical house again. But we can give you this. A platter that will never let you go hungry. It will produce whatever food you want. For how many ever people you want. Take this, and this time keep it with you. Don't give it away. And now, please leave this spot. Thank you so much. I shall leave this place at once. Ron walked in the forest and soon came to a little hamlet in the middle of it. Suddenly, he saw an old man walking with a bundle of grass on his head. The man was so old and weak that he almost fell with the weight of the bundle. Ron helped him. Uncle, you should not be carrying so much weight at this age. Let me help you. The man took Ron to his home in the hamlet, where Ron kept the bundle. Thank you so much, son. You have been of such great help. Uh, Uncle, why do you work so hard? Don't you have anyone to help you? My wife and I live alone. If I do not work, where will I earn enough money to buy bread with? He is old and weak. All he can manage is to cut some grass, but... Even that is becoming difficult now. It looks like you have not eaten well for days. No wonder you are so weak. Take this, uncle. This will produce as much food as you want, whatever dishes you want. You can eat to your heart's content and become strong again. But this belongs to you. We cannot take it. You need it more than I do. I am still young and strong. I can easily find work. You keep it with you. Just let me stay here tonight and let us all share a meal. So Ron asked the platter to give them hot soup, vegetable stew, and fruit pie. And all three of them happily shared a meal. The next morning, the old woman packed him some food for the day and Ron left for the forest once again. He walked all day, and at night, he found a little hollow in a tree big enough for him to lie down in. As soon as he lay down, he saw the same light in the sky. The swans swooped down and became angels. You! Again! Now, what are you doing here? Didn't we give you a platter that could produce food last night? Please tell us you did not give it away. Actually, I did. The old couple needed it more than I did. And Ron told them all about the couple he had met the previous night. (laughs) Now, what do we give you? It is okay. You don't have to give me anything. We have to. Whenever we meet a human who can bear our light, but mind you, This will be our last gift. Take these shoes. They will get you anywhere you want in an instant. Oh, this will be so useful. Please take this and leave this place and keep this one gift for yourself. Thank you. So, Ron wore the shoes and wished himself to reach the next village. Instantly, He vanished from the forest and appeared in the next village, near an inn. Ron decided to spend the night there. As he was dining at the inn, he was joined by another traveler. Mind if I join you, mate? Uh, Not at all. Come. I am John. What are you called, and where do you come from? I am Ron, and I have come here looking for some work. What about you? Ah, I have worked hard for the last five years away from home and I cannot wait to get back. In fact, I am continuing my journey immediately after dinner. You will travel at night? You don't know what it is like to miss home, Ron. My son must be waiting for me. I would have reached two days earlier had it not been for the rain and the storms. Looks like it's going to rain tonight, too. I don't care. I am going home. Come with me. 
Wear these. Why? These shoes will take you home in an instant. I am in no hurry to go anywhere. You need them more than I do. So John wore the shoes and instantly vanished to go home. The next morning, Ron went around the village looking for work, but did not find any. At night, he returned to the inn. He went to his room and was about to sleep when he saw the same strange light, the swans and the angels again. You are definitely following us. No, I am not. Looks like the shoes got you here instantly. But then, why are you still here in this inn? You can go back to your own home and travel here for work instantly every day. You still have the shoes, don't you? No. Ron told them all about the traveler. We have nothing more to give you. That is all right. We can get our gifts back for you if you like. Back from all those you gave them to. Link, if you ask for the house, you will never have to work another day. You can stay happily with your mother. Or if you take the platter back, you and your mother will have the nicest food in the world and you will not be pressed to work very hard. And with the shoes, you can travel between home and work in an instant. Which gifts should we get back for you? None of them. All those people I gave those gifts to needed them more than I did. I am very content to be the way I am, young, strong, and able to work. Ha! <sighs> Suit yourself. The angels disappeared, and Ron went to sleep. The next morning, when Ron awoke, Wake up, son. Mother, what are you doing here? What? Look what happened here, son. What is this? A home suddenly changed into this mansion. How? Suddenly, a swan flew in through the window and dropped a little scroll on Ron's lap. Ron opened it and read. We were only testing you, Ron. Yes, the people who you gave away your gifts to needed them more than you did. They needed them, but because of your kindness and generosity, you deserved them. Signed, your friends, the Angels. So, Ron and his mother lived happily and in luxury for the rest of their lives, but never forgot to be kind and share their good fortune with everyone around them. <laughs> <laughs>